Hi, and welcome to Leitrim Daily. My name is Brefni Early, and you are listening to episode 136 of the podcast. It's Faces and Places, and today we're looking back at the launch of the Leitrim Guardian. Now, those of you who listen to the show on a regular basis or are from the county, no doubt will have a full knowledge of what the Leitrim Guardian is. But if you haven't heard about it, it's a beautiful publication that comes out annually since 1969 about all of the events and happenings across the county. This year, it was launched on Sunday, and we speak to a range of people associated with the magazine and its most famous feature, which is the Leitrim Person of the Year Award given out to one lucky recipient. Now, that person has usually been someone who has done something of extreme note, either this year or sometimes over a lifetime of achievement. And this year's nominee is equally fitting in all of those categories. We caught up with Noel McPartland last week on the show, but we're going to be talking this week to some of the people around the event. The editor of the magazine, Blaheen Gallagher, as well as the chairman of the Leitrim Guardian itself, Mr. Tommy Moore, no stranger to the program. We'll have a very quick chat with Noel McPartland, but mostly we'll be chatting to former holders of that title. And in the next half hour or so, we will be talking to Seamus O'Rourke, Pascal Mooney, Dr. Declan Loftus, all who have held that position themselves. I'll also be speaking to the chairman of Leitrim County Council, Ent McGloin, about how important having a journal like this, which is a unique thing in, in Ireland with no other county having a similar publication each and every year. 52 continuous years of the history of County Leitrim is chronicled in the Leitrim Guardian and it's a fabulous Christmas present for anyone who may have Leitrim connections and it's available in shops all over the county and online on their website. Simply search for Leitrim Guardian and you will find the link. It's 12 euros in shops and I believe it's 16 euros including postage on the island of Ireland and 18 euros outside of Ireland if you want to buy it through their website. Anyway, let's get on with the details. We might as well start at the top. Let's go to the editor and speak to Blohin Gallagher. Blohin Gallagher, editor of the Leitrim Guardian. Tell me a bit about today's event and the publication. Well, the publication is really a historic, unique um, journal. It's been going since 1968. It was founded by a man called Michael Fox, who wanted to really build the self-esteem of Leitrim people. Because around the world, people had, you know, people didn't even know where Leitrim was. And I think he was very successful in doing that. He set up a voluntary committee. Well, he actually, for the first three years, he nearly funded himself. He got private loans. But now it's run by voluntary committee. And we have, we try, I, what I do as editor is I try to reflect the stories of the people. It's a big job selecting what are the voices of the people because I have to leave some people out. And I know that and that must be upsetting. Um, but it tells the stories of our diaspora, it tells the stories of what's going on in Leitrim. And we have a fantastic community working away, doing voluntary stuff that nobody knows anything about. They don't get any recognition or praise. So like Leitrim Guardian Person of the Year recognizes what people do for our county. So this year we have Noel McPartland. Last year we had Seamus O'Rourke. You know, in the 2017, we had uh, Hubert McHugh, who did so much good work for mental health in, in Leitrim. Uh, and, and all of that is is because people come together and give their time to reflect what's really important about Leitrim. And what I think is important about Leitrim is that we are a welcoming, hospitable people. And sometimes messages in the media can lose that. In terms of the publication this year, how many different contributors uh, submitted articles for the, the journal? Well over the hundreds, really. Um, I, I don't, I haven't counted, but I know that now some people have submit multiple things and they're short and they're, and, and they're very good. So you could, and they're timely, so you can't leave them out. And I know people say, oh, there's two people in this, one person with two things, but their articles were timely. Um, but I couldn't tell you how many. We have poets, we have prose writers, we have the short story standard this year was amazing. I mean, when you when you see it, you'll see there's an amazing short story standard this year. Hist we have hi amateur historians writing better articles than you'd have coming out of academia. In terms of the the overall piece, do you have any particular favorites or, or could you pick any of it? Do you feel like all your children, maybe? The whole 
journal is my baby and I don't get to see it, the final product until today, which is really terrible. So I walk in here today and I go, where's my baby? Because it's, you know, we do it as kind of the last thing because you never know what's going to come in at the last minute. Um, we work with Turner's Printers in Longford and I can tell you, they have lead from origins, you know, the Turner's was founded in Mohol originally. I couldn't ask for more professional people. They just make our, my job so much easier. They just facilitate us. Things go wrong. They go, we'll sort it out. It's great. So, but no, I could never pick. The whole journal's my baby. In terms of where people can get their hands on this, obviously they're for sale here on the day, but where else can people pick them up over the coming weeks? Almost all of the shops in Leitrim will have them all over Leitrim. You can also get it in, in, in books upstairs in Dublin. And it's sold abroad in New York and in London via um, the, the local people there. I'm not exactly sure who they are. I know Frank Brady is from New York has been very involved and distributed there. And in London, I think it's the Leitrim Society in London. Um, apologies for not knowing that offhand, but Brett, you just grabbed me on the side and my head is somewhere else. <laughs> no, you're obviously distracted. You've got dozens if not hundreds of people coming in here into the Landmark Hotel. It promises to be a great day. Tell us about the actual event today. What, what is the, the running order for, for the afternoon? So we start off with lunch today, sit down lunch, and then towards the end of that, we'll um, Seamus O'Rourke, who's, la this, who's 2019 person of the Leitrim Guardian person of the year, will pass over the award to Noel McPartle of Trump Trump Shambo, who will be the 2021. After that, um, there'll be a short speech from myself as editor, and then we will introduce the literary award winners. And then there'll be a little bit of music by Fiona Maxwell. And after that, we'll, um, after that, we'll um, chat and network and depart for our home safely. Well, listen, congratulations on what looks like a fabulous production and uh, hope you have a lovely day. The one more. Yeah. You know, today we have in here, we have about 250 people and that really is testament to the success of the journal. It almost closed down after the 50th one. So people out there, if you want this to keep going, you really need to come in, send in your articles and also get involved in the committee. We really need new, younger members of the committee because some people have been on that committee for more years than we care to remember. In terms of other supports, of course, just buying the journal and supporting it financially is a, obviously a huge help to keep in the sustainability of it alive. If people don't buy the journal, it's not going to survive. We really need people to buy it. Send it to your, it's, it's 12 euros in the shops. It's a beautiful Christmas present for, for, for your friends and family. I mean, um, I'm lucky my son, while I've been involved, my husband first, Johnny Lawson, and then my son took over designing the cover. So I think the covers are beautiful. And um, so it's, it looks beautiful to have on your shelves. And I was even a cover on the cover myself nearly 20 years ago, long, long time ago. For my time, Revney. <laughs> I wouldn't get on it today. Listen, thank you so much and uh, be very best of luck today. Th thanks very much, Revney, and the best of luck with your production. Tommy Moran, Chairman of the Leitrim Guardian. You must be happy about the turnout for today's event. Indeed I am. It's uh, the first time we tried it in the middle of the day and we're delighted that so, all the people are coming in and coming in on time. So we're all set for a three o'clock kickoff. Um, but it is great. We have 250, maybe 260. And it's the biggest crowd ever. And I say a lot of that is due to the fact that Noel McPartland is the man of the year. You know, he's, there's, there's always been a good crowd at the Guardian, but there was a danger that sort of died out a few years ago after the 50th edition but a few of us decided to keep it going it'd be a pity i think if it's you know, the county would miss it i think you know and uh, it's, it's good to you know be positive about leitham and publish what's good about it and all the rest you know but there's a great buzz around it. i think it's going to be very enjoyable You've been busy posing for photographs here with the man at the moment, Noel McPartland. Did you pick Noel because he's the only one that'll make you look big in a photograph? Well, I like, it's very seldom I have the opportunity of lowering a microphone. So I might have an opportunity to do that today and that's why I picked him. No, joking, no, Noel was nominated and he was selected from a big number of, you know, nominees, you know, and he's well deserved. He's been working all his life for Drum Shampoo and for Leitrim indeed, you know. In terms of the day to day, what's the aspect of it you're most looking forward to? from today well it's just it's great to see so many people you know there's a lot of people have come back from dublin and various parts of ireland just to be here today leasing people everywhere any leasing gathering is always exciting you know and actually it's a lot of the same people you see over and over and over again but it's great that and then there's a lot of new people here as well and the drumshamba people it's a, it's a good link in for them you know so uh, that's what the garden is all about that's what any leasing function is about i think the best thing about the county is the people and that's proven again today 
in terms of the actual publication, you mentioned that it nearly came to an end a couple of years ago. Uh, what is required to keep that sustainability of that production alive? Well, basically, there's never a problem with getting material for it because people will always write, but it's, it's a committee, really, you know, somebody to, and, and an editor, you know, and Blahing Gallagher has remained on so uh, as editor. It's... Uh, there's a lot of work that people don't see, obviously, you know, and it has to start some months before the production date. And uh, But once there's a committee in charge, and the only thing is we'd like to get a few younger people in, you know, I'm a bit long in the tooth myself. I've been involved with the Guardian for over 50 years now. And, um, you know, I just took chairman because... There wasn't too many people looking for the job. and uh, But I'd like to keep it going. I'd like to keep anything. I'd be very proud of Leitrim and anything that makes Leitrim look good. Well, Tommy, you're definitely looking well today yourself, but also you're making the county look well. And thanks to you and your committee and to obviously the editor and all the contributors for the magazine. Thank you very much. Thank you. The man of the moment, Noel McPartland. I know you're under pressure to get into the, the hall to your awaiting public. What's you, your emotions today? Well, I've been, I've known about this for the last nearly two months. And I've been sweating bricks for the last two months. It's only now I'm beginning to relax. And I can't wait to, to get in there. And I've met so many people, you know. And uh, it's a great honour. And I'll just have to do the best I can, briefly. That okay? Absolutely. What are you hoping to get out of your year as Leitrim Person of the Year? Like, what would you most like to achieve over the course of the year? Well, I'd like to achieve, uh, you know, drum up a bit of community spirit in places that needs it. We're very lucky in Drumsham, but we have a lot of great organisations, a lot of people who come in who have taken part. And I think all the same can happen in all the other towns in Leitrim, you know. We're, we're punching above our weight in many ways, so we'll continue to do that. Well, listen, Noel, a very worthy winner of Leitrim Guardian of the Person of the Year. Congratulations on, on your Thank selection you for that. Thank you much indeed. Thank you. Seamus O'Rourke, it doesn't feel that long since we were talking to you last, but how does it, what's the feeling going through your uh, head tonight? Is it a bit of relief, a bit of disappointment at finishing your, your 12 months as Leitrim Person of the Year? Uh, I kind of, uh, if I was being really honest, it's sort of a relief because um, I don't know what it is. It's, it's such an honour to be uh, Leitrim Person of the Year that uh, uh, you feel sometimes that you're not doing your job properly. So it's a kind of, uh, I have, um, I've done my bit. I'm very proud to be part of that uh, exclusive uh, group and uh, obviously very proud to be part of be a Leitrim man. So um, I wish Noel very well he's a lovely man we had a lovely day here i have to say and um the fact that it was early on and on a sunday evening really added to it it's a lovely atmosphere and um it's been a great leitrim occasion what are your abiding memories of the last 12 months um i think the novelty factor when i i was in places like dublin and cork and 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 uh people got wind of the fact that uh, I was uh, something called Leitrim Person of the Year and they couldn't get their head around it because I think we're unique in that we're probably only the, the only county that has such awards and uh, so I got lots of mileage out of it and we got to talk about Leitrim and, and uh, stirred everybody's imagine our uh, um, interest in, in Leitrim and hopefully um, I think we're on, on the up, I think we're, uh, we're about to, to um, take on the world again <laughs> in terms of advice that you might have for Noel, we've asked a couple of other former uh, Leitrim people of the year to, to give one piece of advice to Noel for the 12 months ahead um milk it for all it's worth i'd say <laughs> um yeah i i i, I genuinely there's not there's, there's no negatives to it um uh, yes of course you have to do a few uh visit a few places and, and, and do some things that you might not be um, fully uh, uh, comfortable with. But at the same time, um, people are only expecting him to be, to be himself. And I think if um, that's the key in anything is to be completely honest and then you can't go too far wrong. So um, uh, uh, Noel will have no problem. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a salesman. And he's been selling his wares for a long time. He'll be selling Leitrim for the next uh, year. He's been selling it for a long time now and he'll, he'll have no problem. He's a great man. And your mantelpiece is feeling a little bit lighter today after that heavy uh, trophy has taken off it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to get to replace it because um, it's a big lump of a yoke. <laughs> so um, we'll, 
uh, we'll we'll cover it with something. Yeah, books. <laughs> yeah, plenty of them and obviously yeah. if you book another good Christmas present under oh, the yeah. tree brilliant yeah uh, yeah no it's going great and, and, and I've been reading yours as well so that's uh, we're, uh, we're both happy thank you very much James okay thanks briefly Dr Declan Loftus it seems to be uh, someone that's catching around Dumshambo winning this award yeah it's been very good for Dumshambo but then you have a very a lot of prominent men around Dumshambo, and some of them have done a lot for the town of Dumshambo, and I think that's why it's been recognised today. And if you look back to the years, you had Pascal Mooney, Senator, or Joe Mooney, you had uh, Raymond Laird, they've all done so much for the town. And now you've got Noel McPartland, who's certainly done an awful lot to bring a lot of, a lot of industry and a lot of, a lot of jobs into Dumshambo. So I think while we have people like that, we're going to continue having awards in Dumshambo. In terms of your own award back in the day, what are your fondest memories of that year as Legion Person of the Year? Well, I, I know initially to get, the, to get the award was so exciting. I didn't expect it, and I still don't know why I got it. But anyways, I accepted it. But I had some great times. I mean, I, I, uh, I had to speak to the Elite Tr or Sligo People's Association, London People's Association. I had to go to Dublin. Lots of outings, I must say. And I, I was great to be able to promote Leitrim. And, and all the good things that were going on in it. And I suppose being part of the Leitrim team, the football team, it gave me a great chance to promote the team as well. Obviously well known, not just in Drumshambo and their surrounding areas, but from your role as the doctor to Leitrim for probably more years than you care to remember. Have you been following the progress over the last 12 months and the success? Yeah, I've been following them and it was great to see them getting out of Division 4. We had been in Division 4 for so long. And I mean, that day in Dublin, days like that, Make you say, make you say to yourself, isn't it great to be in Leitrim? Because we had a wonderful day in Dublin. I know we didn't win, but it was great to get there. No more than in 1994. I mean, it lifted the whole county. And maybe with the new system that's going to come in, we might get to Crow Park more often. In terms of football, it's this season I, I noticed your own son, Alan, a doctor in his own right, uh, on the sideline a few times in Park Sean McDermott. Uh, is it, do you take great pride watching the next generation come through and following your footsteps? Oh, I do. He's, he's great interest in Leitrim and uh, he, he's anxious to continue it. And uh, I suppose I can be a small bit of help to him. It's very good, you know, but certainly he has, he's had one year over him now. I was saying in my 24 years, I got to Crow Park twice. He's been in, uh, only in it one year and he's got to Crow Park twice. So it says a lot maybe for him and not for me. <laughs> In terms of Noel's role for the next 12 months, if you had one piece of advice to give him as a previous holder of the title, what would you give to him? Well, I think the main thing is to enjoy the year. I mean, it's so exciting to have got the award. I think he's going to get lots of opportunity to talk to so many people over the next year. And I think if he can promote Leitrim as much as he can, then I think he'll have done a good job, which I know he will. Excellent. Well, I'm going to let you get back to your family, Dick. Okay, thanks. Enda McGloin, Chairman of Leitrim County Council. How important are days like this to the county? Oh, ab absolutely. Great days. Uh, very important. Um, I think what the Leitrim Guardian does every year in honouring somebody in that Leitrim personality of the year, I, I think is a fitting tribute to the p people, particularly people who do a lot of so much community work. And, you know, across the broad spectrum, I suppose you have people involved in sport, business, community and it every year they honor somebody who makes a contribution uh, to County Leitrim and the life of the county and I think this year Noel is no exception to that uh, I have the privilege of working with them uh, on the food hub over the last 15 or 16 years Noel was PRO I was chairman and he has um, only for him the idea of the food hub never would have come about uh, he saw the potential of uh, food and the production of food in County Leitrim and he knew what was needed was a food production space to be able to allow people to start off and from starting off then to develop and that was the whole concept behind the food hub to get development space and he saw the potential because he had such experience over the years working in the food industry he knew what it was about he knew what was needed and with his persuasion the ability to coerce people or that's probably the wrong word but certainly uh, to um, persuade people to invest 
interest. I think th from that perspective, he was able to get the necessary funding at the very beginning and then to drive it on. And without his vision in that sense, we wouldn't have what we have 90 jobs today in Drumshambo. In terms of the, the sentiment that comes from taking a read through the Leitrim Guardian, what are your favourite memories of the produ production over the, the years? Well, my mother and father always purchased the Leitrim Guardian every year, so I always recall in years gone by, I was born in the year Leitrim Guardian came out in 1969, so I can recall for you, I remember the very first picture on it was that of the Rigna Power Station, where my father worked for so many years. And then over the years and the various stories, history, the history of the county, stories about people's life living in the county, people lived abroad, various stories, for example, when Leitrim won in 94, there's some smaller stories around that. Um, the, the various contributions, the poem, the literary contributions, and um, it's always been a, a Christmas publication, so it was always a great gift for people who lived away from the county. I, for one, send it to a friend of mine in Dublin every year. I know he enjoys it every year because basically it gives him a great insight of what went on during the county during the year. He's interested in the arts, gives him a good perspective on that. And of course, sport is an integral part. But any interest that revolves around the county and the people in it is featured in the Leitrim Guardian. And I commend the editors gone by and the current editor and all the committee for what must be a difficult task every year. Um, and I think in an age where people rely more on the internet to do their reading and all of the various other technological innovations that we still have a, a book, a publication featuring uh, Leitrim in it and that is so, so successful. I commend the committee for that. Thank you very much for your okay. contribution. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Pascal Mooney, a former recipient of the award, the Leitrim Person of the Year. What's it like coming back a few years later to see one of your neighbours get the, the same honour? I'm so pleased for Noel because if you look at the success of the Food Hub over the last number of years, he developed the original concept at a time when people were perhaps a little cynical about what was going to happen to the old factory. And to see it now and going forward into the future, Pat Rigney's distillery, the Shed distillery are going to have an extra 25 jobs. There'll be over 100 jobs there, which in fact is more that was actually in the original Laird's Jam Factory in its prime. So for Noel today is to me uh, a vindication of all he has been doing under the radar over many, many years. Uh, coming back here, I, I was surprised to learn that there are six recipients from Drumshanbo, which you know is, tells a story in itself. And I do remember the occasion, particularly as my father had been a Leitrim Person of the Year, and when the were, Seamus O'Rourke was making a joke about the weight of the uh, trophy, which are presented with, he was absolutely right. It's, it is the equivalent of about three, three hundredweight. And uh, the fact that it was in our house on two occasions uh, is a cause of great, great pleasure and pride for the Mooney family. In terms of what Noel can expect over the next 12 months, from your experience as uh, in that role, what, what can he expect to spend a lot of his time doing over the next year? Well, I think that the profile now is much higher than it was back then. Um, but he obviously will be um, going to the various Leitrim Association functions, both here in Ireland, of which there are a number. There is Sligo, Cork, Dublin, and of course London. And I'm not sure about Manchester, which was there in my time. Uh, so he'll be doing that. But also the fact that he is the Leitrim Person of the Year, he'll be profiling. I know better man than Noel. Um, he, he's a PR expert, not for Noel McPartland, but for the community and for the county. And I think that he's been, it's not just a wise choice. I think that it's been an excellent choice and well-deserved and overdue acknowledgement. It's more than just the Person of the Year Award, really. It is a kind of a, this is your life, lifetime achievement award of sorts. Very much so. And I think that they took, they, the uh, committee must have taken that into account when they looked over the broad expanse of, of Noel's career, uh, particularly with Laird's. And uh, Gary Laird made a reference earlier today about when his father took him on, that he was much travelled. Uh, Noel spent an enormous amount of time travelling for Laird's Jam and for Bo Peep Jam. In fact, there was a bit of a standing joke that it was Laird's Jam that kept the Libyan army and Gaddafi uh, in, in food and kept them on the march because uh, Laird's Jam was exported into Libya at that time. So um, from Noel's point of view, uh, the fact that it's acknowledging uh, the broad span of his career 
which covered an enormous amount. And he referred earlier to being in the American Army. I'm afraid, Breffney, I'm old enough to remember seeing him and his twin brother, Sean, in Drumshambo as a child, wearing the American uniform and being fascinated. The war, the, the summer fatigues at the time, the white uni- or the, the off-white uniforms. And at the time, of course, there was no problem about wearing other uniforms. And in fact, great deal of pride, I think, because of the strong links there are with America and with our Irish cousins, our Irish-American cousins. But I remember that, and it was interesting that he referred to it as well, that he still has the uniform. Maybe he might wear it one of these days. Listen, Pascal, I'm sure I'll let you go off and see if you can find Noel round Drumshambo wearing his... Well, yeah, thanks for breath, Lee, and thanks again, and congratulations to Noel and his family. And that, folks, is all we have time for this week. An absolutely gorgeous day in the Landmark Hotel last Sunday afternoon. Congratulations once again to Leitrim Man of the Year, Leitrim Person of the Year, Noel McPartland, and to everybody involved in a fabulous production for this year's Leitrim Guardian. To Blohin and Tommy, the editor and chairperson of the committee, big bula bus to both yourselves and your respective teams on the editorial and on the organisational side. I will be back tomorrow with In Focus, where I'll be taking a look at some potential investment opportunities for Leitrim businesses from the Western Development Commission. Talk to you then.